On the Saturday afternoon in October, the side of football, East Lansing, Michigan. And the opposition, well, first of all, the University of Michigan will be taking on the Spartans of Michigan State University. Somebody has once said, it's when good friends get together, but I don't believe her for a moment, Jim Brownstetter. Well, maybe they're not the closest of friends, but it's for the bragging rights in the state of Michigan. These kids know each other, and when you are playing somebody you know, you're involved in a game with a friend, you play harder. That's what this game is all about. A threat of continuing rain possibly this afternoon certainly has not kept 76,000 plus fans away as you take a look at head coach Bo Schembechler of the University of Michigan shooting for his 100th victory in Big Ten competition since coming on to the University of Michigan. Michigan with Eddie Garrett starting at fullback this afternoon and on the carry, Kerry Smith, the tailback and gets close to six yards on that carry, very close to the 40-yard line, almost seven yards. Second down and five for the Wolverines. Steve Smith looking for his tight end, or rather his wide receiver, Bean, and he takes it at the 50-yard line. It's complete, and so Michigan has its first, first down of the afternoon. Hannah drove him out of bounds. Garrett, boy, he got out of the hole. There was no hole, actually. Blocked up there, moved outside, just slipped outside and picked up valuable yardage. Michigan State up front does a lot of gaming up front. What Michigan is doing here is a trap. Diorio comes over, logs in the linebacker, and then Garrett cuts that ball outside that block of Diorio. And Michigan State has got to be aware that they cannot do that against a trapping team. And Michigan will trap them if they try to gain too much up front. At the Spartan 40-yard line, first and 10 for the Wolverines. And the option play with Terry Smith carrying down to close to the 26-yard line of the Spartans. Double tight end for Michigan, both on the right side. Carthens as the wing back. Terry Smith driving hard, close to the 21-yard line of the Spartans. Once again, that is similar to a trap play, except it isn't a trap from the line. It is a trap by the fullback. Now watch the line. They're playing a game. There is Garrett blocking the linebacker, and Kerry Smith cuts right off the block, and he is into the secondary. Now Michigan State has got to shore that up up front. There he is Bean out to the right side, and Nelson way out on the left side, rather in a slot position. One back offense, lead 11 yards for the first down, and they got it, and maybe a Michigan touchdown and carrying in for the score, Nope, Carson. Carson, who was playing the wing back on the right side, had nobody around him. Well, what happened was, is Carson came off the ball and came on an underneath pattern, dragging across the action of the other receivers. Now, Michigan State had a mix-up in their secondary coverage. The other key here is Steve Smith has all kinds of time back there. Waits for Carson to come free, hits him. Now, everybody is coming this way. And you see Cunningham react back to Carson, but he had too much room to get to the corner, and Michigan's on the board first. So, Melt checks in with his first touchdown of the season. And checking in now is Bergeron to drive the extra point. Had a little trouble with that kick. Really didn't get it very well, and off to the left, no good. They send Larry Jackson wide to the left, and Daryl Turner wide to the right. As Park Brown as the quarterback, hands to his fullback, Butler. Cooper moves up and meets them head on. Not until Butler had picked up close to five or six yards. And this year, they moved him to offensive guard because of injury trouble. And that's gaining experience in a hurry as a freshman. It was second and four as the Spartans trying to get up close to the 33-yard line for the first off, uh, down, but Ryan Gold moves in there to stop the running of Aaron Roberts. And Anderson just coming off of an ankle injury for Michigan. Third down and two for Michigan State. They'll pass on this one, and finding his first reception is the fullback, and that was Carl Butler. Hassel really put a tackle on him. And he may be shy by a foot for that first down. Uh, Tommy Hassel played off a block very well. Again, you see pressure, but Hassel played off the block of the end coming out to knock him down. The key is now how well he'll do if they run outside him. Carson's in a tight end now in the place of Nelson. Going to Carson's right over the middle. 
took it at the 45-yard line, moved across the 40-yard line of Michigan State right around the 39. Well, once again, because Michigan has run the ball so well, this is a play-action fake. The linebackers are up on the line of scrimmage, worried about those two backs. Carthens just comes out, runs right behind the linebackers because they didn't get a deep enough drop. He's behind the linebacker zone, and he's in front of the deep zone. And Ken Higgins in there now for Michigan, split to the right side. Smith going to the left this time, looking for Bean, finds him, complete first down. Close to the Spartan 25, 26 yard line, the market at the 26. So the Wolverines will try for a 38 yard field goal. And this will be Bergeron, Bob Bergeron to try for. 38 yard effort, he has the distance, he has it, it is good. And so, University of Michigan now up by a 9 nothing lead with 5.32. We'll be right back. Ojanko back there to punt. Cooper waiting for that punt. Around his own 32-yard line. He'll take it after 33. Comes straight ahead. Finds daylight across the midfield stripe to the 47-yard line of Michigan State and finally brought down by the Spartan. In there was Morrissey. Watson split wide to the left and Bean wide to the right. Second down and a long nine. Rogers will try it again on the left side. Picked up about five yards on that carry. A little more successful on that play. Third and four. And complete to be far side of the field at the 30-yard line. Terry Lewis drives him out of bounds. First down, Michigan. First and 10 at the Michigan State 30-yard line. And Rogers that time found a nice hole on the left side. And picks up a good five, maybe close to six or seven yards on that beam, by the way. With Rogers and Rice, the running backs. And Rice straight ahead. Good deception that time by Steve Smith. The 18-yard line, that is the eighth first down for the Wolverines in this ball game. Steve Smith breaks a tackle and scampers down to the 10-yard line. He was covered up there by Morrissey. It was good enough for eight yards. Let's make it second down and two for the Wolverines. This time going straight ahead is the fullback, and that is Dan Rice. He is inside the five-yard line, and they are knocking on the door of Michigan State. And once again... Well, you take a look at that football, a half yard out. Michigan trying to go into the score in this first play in the line of scrimmage to start the second quarter. Rogers the tailback. And going straight ahead, the fullback. And Rice has cracked the defensive wall of Michigan State. And the Spartans see the second touchdown run against them. Michigan, a very simple play, but that's the first part of the option. Steve Smith handing the fullback, riding him into the line of scrimmage, and Rice did a good job of recognizing where that little crease was and just fell into the end zone. They only had a half yard to go, but... They used Jackson wide to the left as a wide receiver. And a little draw play with Butler now moving outside, and that was a mistake. Butler was tempted to go inside. I'm sure that's where the X's and O's were drawn. And Cooper then moved up quickly to make the tackle. Second and 24. Turner wide to the left. Jackson wide to the right. And Brown was looking that time for his wide receiver or his tight end and couldn't find anything open and good defensive play by De Felice and Brooks. Sack job, that means three more yards lost. Third down now and 29. And if you're looking for carries, Michigan State right now, five carries and minus one yard in that ground department. Brown needs yardage badly here. And almost had it taken right out of his hands. Got away from that would-be tackler. And under a lot of pressure, fires it out, but it's incomplete. It's in for Aaron Roberts. And we've got fourth down and 33 yards. Moshenko, right barely into his end zone. Almost blocked that time, but he gets it away. A beautiful punt with a win, and taken by Cooper at the 40-yard line. 45, 50-yard line. Daylight down the sideline on the far side. Down to the state, 25, 20-yard line, and a loose ball going out of bounds, and finally stopped down there. Desperation tackled by Bobby Morris on the three previous ones with a couple of touchdowns and a field goal at the 21-yard line. Smith trapped back there. 
Now he picks up a wall of blockers on the far side and will be close to a first down. Oh, my. There was some running ability displayed by young Steve Smith. Everything was bottled up on the left side. He developed a wall on the right side and got 10 yards. This is actually pretty funny. There's no pitch back. Look at Smith. He looks to the pitch. There's nobody there. What do I do now? So he turns it back. This is just his great quickness. Big block out here by Vince Bean knocking off Morrissey before Curran can get over from his lineman spot and the defensive tackle and get over to make the stop. But not after Smith made a real good run. But First down and goal for Michigan. Run around the eight-yard line of Michigan State. Rick Rogers slides outside. Touchdown. It looked too easy that time. Rogers bolting to the outside. Got a nice block from Doug James and picked up the eight yards for the TD. Blocking at the point of attack and also Michigan State defensively reacting inside. Watch the outside linebacker. He goes inside thinking the hole is off tackle and Rogers, when he saw that, he read Tyree, number 28, coming inside to force that play back up over the center. Rogers bounced it outside. There was nobody out there to tackle him and the Wolverines dominating the Spartans here in the early going of this classic football game. If you want to give assists, give one to Cooper, who took that punt return and really got him started in great field position, capped off by the eight-yard run. Low line drive. It hits the goal post. It'll be no good. So Bergeron having his problems with the extra point. First and ten. Manley checks in at the halfback position, number nine for Michigan State, along with Carl Butler. And that split back offense they'll use. First and ten, Brown going to Manley, incomplete and picked off there by Cochran for his second interception of the afternoon. And now Cochran still running free. Looked as if he was going to be nailed back at the 45-yard line, got an additional five or six yards out of it. It's a great effort by Brad Cochran. And the other thing about it, we talked all season long about this tip drill. Brown throws this high, it's tipped up, Carlton Rose tips it up, that keeps the ball alive for Cochran. Now look at this effort running the ball. He makes about five or six people miss. Comes back over in the middle of the field, probably should have stayed, turned it up inside there, but Brad Cochran doing a good job, and, and Michigan secondary doing a good job. Got Nelson sort of a wing back on the left side. Steve Smith got in a good opening on that left side, and good footwork by Steve Smith to get Michigan will have to get to the state 29 yard line for the first down. Steve Smith has a man open and heavy traffic and Sim Nelson hangs on to it. Nope, they say complete. Yeah, it is complete. Sim Nelson comes over and Steve Smith rolls out. Now the linebackers have to be concerned about his run. He sees Nelson open, throws it high. Now Nelson just makes a great catch as he knew that Dixon was waiting for him right there. Down there. 41-yard effort now by Bergeron. Got distance. It is good. 41-yard field goal. Three more points for Michigan with 2.31 to go in the first half. It's the Wolverines 25, the Spartans nothing. Garrett and Kerry Smith are the running backs. Garrett has carried a couple of times in this ball game for a total of 15 yards. So second down and six yards fake to Garrett and the option play to Kerry Smith he runs over a couple of defenders but hauled down by Lewis with some help in there from Anthony Bell last week of course a good sound fundamental collegiate football player and that time putting the head down getting some valuable yardage on the carry and again hitting that right side and getting good blocking from that right side with guys like Dixon Humphreys and Jay double tied in and this time Garrett Almost like a little misdirection play. Took a little break to the right and then came back with some quick footwork. Kerry Smith has checked out. And Rick Rogers in there behind Armstrong, the fullback. Pitch now going to Rogers and broke the tackle. Boy, he was going to be tossed by a loss by Bunch. Broke the arm tackle and got a couple of yards out of it. Both teams throughout the season have been tremendous defensively in the third quarter. Mix up there on a the handoff. Finally, Rogers gets it. And driven out of bounds. Hannah over there to drive him out. A little mix up. Florida, of course, has played a little bit on that guard position this afternoon. But as you mentioned, first snap from center. It goes okay. And pulling his way ahead that time was Eddie Garrett. Garrett. Second down and three yards to go for a first down for the Wolverines. 
And here comes Rogers, first down, close to the 21 yard line. And again, good blocking over there on that right side of the line. You're talking about the injuries. Morrissey does have a little bit, but he is available to play. And Robinson has stayed out with an ankle injury and gone to the hospital for an x ray. Nelson on the receiving end of that pass. For the Wolverines, instead of going for six points at the one foot line, trying for the field goal from 23 yards out. Bergeron with two field goals to his credit in the first half. Yes, perfection that time. And so Bergeron on the field goals this afternoon, three for three. And Michigan lead increases now 28 to nothing over the Spartans with 6.09 to go in the third quarter. John Bracken on his way of trying to be the all-time punter yardage-wise, that is, in Michigan history, has a chance this afternoon, only his second punt, and he gets off a high spiral into the face of that, or teeth of that wind, fumbled, and picked up now. Here comes Hillett, off the fingertips, he cannot advance the ball, and Jim Morris fumbled the ball at the state 40-yard line. It will be Michigan's football, however. Didn't we say when it rains, it pours? And I think that's what's happening to George Prolis and the Spartans right here. A very high kick. Michigan gets good coverage. What he should have done was catch that ball with his body and his hands. You've got to use both of them on a high kick like that. He also... Rice with six carries and 20 yards. On the option, Smith. The carry, Smith. And carry upended over there. Because of the kind of game that Michigan has played today, dominating up front, using the clock, Michigan State has never been able to really enthusiastically get in this game, and their crowd has been held out of the game. Michigan has just put a lid on it all day long. Dave Smith to Nelson, and Nelson with a diving effort. Reception is good at the five-yard line of Michigan State. Great call in the sense that they were faking on a play action on the option. Smith, double back fake into the line. The tight end delays, comes down, fields. Decent coverage by Bell, the linebacker, but he's one-on-one -on -one with the tight end. And Sim Nelson makes a nice diving catch. We've seen him. Make three yards for the touchdown. And Steve cuts in. And just as he gets to the goal line, Lost the ball, but the official rules that he had crossed the goal line and a touchdown was good. He lost the ball after he came across the goal line. The rule is, is that if the ball crosses the plane of the end zone, it is a touchdown. Uh, Steve sees everybody sliding outside, turns it back up inside. The referee immediately called touchdown. I don't know. From that angle, we can't really see whether he did cross that plane to the end zone. For other occasions, the Spartans lose to Michigan, so he knows that old feeling. Doesn't make it any easier, however. First and ten, and Butler has cut down on the far side of the field. That's interesting. Well, it is. We'll sure. tell you in a minute. That's right. Manley on the carry, number nine, just checking in. And he carries for the first time this afternoon. He police him and make the stop. Let's go back. Saw it's third and 19 for Michigan State. And the pressure's on, out of the pocket. Brown trying to get it away and fires and draws it complete. On the reception that time. The defender back there held on real tight, pulled those arms down, and really made sure he didn't catch it. Davicino in there at the right guard position now for Michigan. And look at the footwork this time for the first down. Looked like he was going to be down way back there. And finally, it's brought down at the 38-yard line. Well, Not he, too shabby running. He runs into Greg Armstrong. Greg Armstrong goes through the line of scrimmage. There's nobody to block. He's surprised because Carson's got such a good block on 51 Anthony Bell. And Logue ran right into him, and that really probably slowed Logue up enough so that he didn't get as much yardage as he could have. Second and about six yards. And some crafty running again by... A guy that's going to be a favorite, I think, before too long has been Logue. Herman, by the way, got in last week's game and carried four times. Here's Logue again. A lot of daylight. Almost got the first down. Gets across the 25-yard line, very close to the 24 before Terry Lewis finally upset him. Second and a foot. And straight ahead has the first down. 
over the 20-yard line, close to the 19-yard line of Michigan State. Okay, it's belonged to Michigan right from the start, 35 to nothing right now in this ball game. Really a disappointment, I think, for the 78,000 fans that showed up here at Spartan Stadium, Ray, because, and I feel bad in a way because there was so much enthusiasm and so much excitement on the part of Michigan State coming into this ball game. Such a great rivalry, and in a sense, Michigan has just taken the air right out of this entire crowd. Ladies and gentlemen, I don't know whether a fellow by the name of Branstetter feels sorry or not. He wore his letter sweater underneath his coat today. It says Michigan on it. Now, just kidding. Right now, the Wolverines just using the clock and running the, uh, the ground game. Low, following his blocking, should have enough for the first down. And gets the ball into the hole as Michigan brings in a new quarterback. Jim Harbaugh checks in for his first time this season at quarterback number four. The youngster from Palo Alto, California, but spent some time around Ann Arbor in his early years. Handoff that time was to Perriman, the fullback, and he carried over left guard. Let's talk about young Jim Harbaugh. A few weeks ago, Bo Schoenbecker was saying, hey, I got to get this young man some playing time. He's a good one. <laughs> Logue slamming in, touchdown Michigan. So Ben Logue has his first collegiate touchdown as he scampers in from three yards out. And again, right, nothing fancy throughout the entire drive. Michigan's second team offensive line getting a real good opportunity to play against a, a decent football team. And here it is, Logue just slanting off the side, knows he's got a yard to go. Good blocking at the point of attack. He's in for the touchdown, and really that was an experience builder for the Michigan people who don't see a lot of action in the big game. But all those kids in that second team will remember this drive and that touchdown all the rest of their lives. Bergeron for the extra point, and yes, he has it. Well, we'll keep our fingers crossed for Aaron Roberts, but it sure to look like the right knee that time as he went to the locker room. Might be the final play of the game as Butler carries down to two seconds, one second, and that's all she wrote. The addition of 1983 between Michigan and Michigan State football has come to an end. It was dominated this afternoon by the Wolverines. The final score, 42 to nothing.